So I was hoping to do like this a little video of you guys talking about how the neighborhood came together here after the storm. Um, I guess you were telling me you went down by the river and you met yeah. with people every day to look at the, the height of the river. And... Well, we, we went down to the river to uh, see the height of it and then I would come back and relay the, the information to my wife and she would put it on the, the homeowner's page. I guess she said half the neighborhood evacuated and half didn't. That was, so you guys were communicating. Half on our side back here. Yeah. Back here and uh, I don't know. Oh, Kingwood Oaks. We're the river, right? Yeah, we're Kingwood by the river. That's Kingwood Oaks. In Kingwood Oaks, uh, there were some people over there that, that uh, evacuated. So um, what were you communicating to people? How what kind of information? Was, how quick the river was coming up. Um, our opinion on whether we should leave or not. But, you know, that's that was just my opinion. And so I think you said people were concerned about looters. So you looked out, I guess you went for suspicious for people. Side, yes. Yeah. Cars that didn't didn't belong back here because all of us neighbors know who's who. Yeah. You know, who drives what. And, of course, you know, Miss Katie, she left. She went to Tennessee. Yeah. We also, got, you weren't we here. Evacuated. And then couldn't get back because all the roads were closed. So, so. were you communicating on this Facebook page mm -hmm. about what, what information did you learn? Uh, we, it was... Mostly just keeping track of where the river was and how high it was. There was also, at one point, the day we left, um, a tree fell that blocked Lofton. Uh -huh. And so when we left, we actually made sure to go out Kinlaw instead of Lofton because there was a tree down and blocking the road. And so you wouldn't have known that if you didn't yeah, keep we, up? Yeah, we, well, we would have discovered it when we drove upon it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, for real. But, um, and that was the big thing is where flooding was in the neighborhood, where there was standing water, um, you know, if a neighbor was having issues, uh, like we had people that had trees fall or just a lot of shrubs down or whatever that uh, needed help. They didn't have the ability to clean it up themselves since so they were posting on the page. And, so um, people were helping them out then? Yeah. yeah. Power outages, stuff like that. But it goes beyond just the hurricane too. I mean, one day I locked myself out of the house and, um, and it was, in the middle of July and so it was 100 degrees outside and I had my three kids and um, I posted on the neighborhood page I was like hey does anybody know a locksmith that could get out here quickly and one of the neighbors was, that I've never even met in person before was like hey bring the kids over you can come hang out at our house and stay cool until the locksmith can get there. Do you, do you think this storm allowed people to make new friends and, and become closer to other neighbors they didn't know otherwise? Or? Yeah. I think yeah. this one and Matthew did that. Yeah. Um, Matthew wasn't, didn't have the online presence that this one did. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we had such beautiful weather for like the last, for the week after the storm that even though we didn't have power yeah. back here. <laughs> we didn't have power back here for a little while. Yeah, it was several days, even though we didn't have power or anything. So when you didn't have power for days, how did you guys help each other out with that as well? With neighbors, I mean? Oh yeah, Larry came over and was helping us set up a generator that we borrowed from somebody else in town that had power and, um, and that was in Matthew, that wasn't uh, with Florence. But, you know, people were playing outside and walking around the neighborhood way more than we normally do. Um, and everyone was just getting to know each other real well then. Yeah. So. I guess that's the silver lining in yeah. all of this. <laughs> yeah. So the, uh, the cookout's been postponed to what? Postponed fourth? because of the mosquitoes. Uh, yeah, I noticed the mosquitoes were really bad. Like, yeah. we were just walking over there and and it's the middle yeah, the of the day. The closer you get to the woods, the, the worse it is. So. Yeah. And you know, we can't even go in our backyard and like you said, her, her child son got bit by one and had a reaction to it, so it is. Yeah, my little guy looks like he's been beat up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hear they were kind of big too, some of them. Yeah, they're, some of they're them huge. Yeah. They're, 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 almost, they're about the size of quarters. God. Some like, of them are, so. Yeah. It's, uh, they yeah. And it's sad, you know, that, you know, that they talk about what they're gonna do and as far as the city officials and yeah never happened they, you know they were supposed to spray you know the the area by the river mm -hmm. first you know and it's just it never happened because you know back here in the wood 